Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at some vector scopes. Uh, these are two liter LV 5100D vector scope waveform monitors that I have in my studio here. Uh, I have two of them. Each one is fed from the output of a Tascam DA30 Mark II DAT, DAT deck. There's one DAT deck there. Here's the other one. And we'll pan out a little bit. And if you look, I have the output fed into an oscilloscope here that I use for monitoring and the little spectrum analyzer that bought the module on eBay and made a custom enclosure for it. And I have that mounted up above there. So we're going to take a closer look at these. Um, one of my viewers had a question about how do you make these display audio? So we're going to go back to the workbench and uh, take a closer look at one of these. All right, sit tight. Be right back. All right, we're back. So what I've got set up on the bench here are two uh, waveform vector scope monitors. Uh, the one on the left is a Tektronix 1750A. On the right is a, another liter LV5100D. The Tektronix scope is an all analog vector scope. Uh, the leader is a digital one, so it will work with digital video signals um, as well as analog signals. And I have both of these on the bench because what I want to demonstrate is that even though these are two different manufacturers, uh, they both use the same cable on the back that allows you to display audio signals on them. So right now I've got my Unity UTG 932E function generator hooked up. Uh, both the right and left channels are getting a one kilohertz, two volt peak to peak sine wave. Uh, the one channel is just slightly faster. It's uh, literally one, um, it's one hertz faster than the other channel. If I go in and I tweak that, you can see if they both get the exact same one kilohertz signal. Uh, what we get is a straight line, straight while it's slanted. Uh, this shows that the signals are in phase with, with one another. Um, I can come down here to the phase and change the, the phase of the two, the two waves. So these are 45 degrees out of phase. Uh, I can pick 90 degrees out of phase. I could go 180 degrees out of phase. Or we could just put them back in phase. And since it's an XY display, you can do the usual these as you figures. Uh, let's go back here to channel one, go to free oh yeah, go to frequency two. So just like you would do on an oscilloscope, uh, same same type of XY XY display. So let me let me move this cable over to the leader and let you see that one. There we go. And as you can see, the leader displays the same thing as the Tektronix scope. So like I said, there's a, there's more or less a standard for the it's the remote control input on the back of these on the back of these scopes. It's in it's on that connector that you get to uh, that you get to connect audio to them. So I'm going to open. I'm just going to take this off here. So the connectors are are a 25 pin D style connector. So you need a 25 pin male. And what I have going in here is just two. Uh, these are just some RCA cables that I cut down. Uh, now we're coming in the back here. And there's a left positive and negative and a right positive and negative on the pins in here. And what I'll do is I will put a copy of the wiring diagram for these up on um, up on my page, uh, but that's it. It's it's really really pretty easy. So you just got to solder four wires onto a connector. Um, you know, I bought a new connector with a with a shell on it, and uh, 
but you know you could salvage one of these from an old cable so if you've got an old printer cable lay, parallel printer cable laying around um, something like that you can you can do that let me just get this back on here can't see behind here very well there we go And if I just and that's really all, all, all there is to it. The cable's very simple to hook up. Um, you can find these on eBay. You can find them pretty cheap. I have one, two, three, four. Uh, I actually have five of them. Um, the LV 5100Ds that I have in my studio are white phosphor. This one happened to be a green phosphor one. Uh, this Tektronix one obviously also is a green phosphor one. And I have another Tektronix uh, waveform vector monitor. However, it does not do audio. So it's just a vector waveform monitor. Uh, why do I have these? I have them because... Uh, for doing XY displays, they're kind of cool. I thought they would look, they would be fun to have in, in my studio, is just for when I'm playing music, making music, whatever, for a display. Um, also, I think the, I think the XY mode on these is crisper and may even respond a little quicker, so I've been told, than XY mode on oscilloscopes, although XY mode on oscilloscope looks looks really good. Uh, the CRTs in these are, I think, a little bit deeper than you find on most oscilloscopes. There's something different about the tubes. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Something about the deflection plates in these tubes, they, they're done a little bit different. So you get a much, I think, a much crisper view out of them. Um, Some of these can also be used in what's called picture mode. So it'll, it will actually work as a monochrome uh, NTSC monitor. I know this one will. Uh, I believe this one will as well. And uh, yeah, since I have them on the bench and we're taking a look at them, uh, I'll bring out my TV pattern test generator and hook up to it just, uh, just for the sake of showing you what it looks like. So sit tight, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. All right, so I've got both these Vectorscope waveform monitors hooked up to my Color TV pattern generator. Uh, this is another piece of ancient equipment. Last time it was calibrated was 2017. Sorry, 2016, and it's older than that. I picked this up because, you know, gear. We like to play with things. So on the right-hand side, I'm showing a waveform monitor and on the left-hand side is the vector monitor. I'm going to admit, I don't really know what they all mean, but I can put a signal through. So if we just have it draw a circle on the screen, and I come here, we can see that, and I can put crosshatch, uh, get the vertical position fixed up here. We can do a checkerboard, we can do dots, we can do that kind of crosshatch. Uh, there's a test called VCR, it's got some moving stuff, it's got a grayscale image. And this shows what the TV waveform looks like. Like so this is an NTSC signal. Um, you know, for me, it's kind of cool to look at, uh, you know, everything has gone digital with HDMI and everything. So, you know, not a lot of use for analog, analog monitors anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure they are still used though uh, for, with digital signals. The idea behind these was so that you could make sure that your levels were correct. Everything is fit into the broadcast standard so that the signal you were putting out would work everywhere it goes. Um, here's a color bar signal. See here, um, we could do a grayscale and a color bar. 
So the grayscale is the stair steps, the color bar is there. The multi-burst, like I said, the VCR signal. And then this just showed colors red, green, blue, red and blue, red and green, red, blue and green, red, blue and green, which would come out to white. If we come back here, you could see red, green, and blue. So anyway, and this does the same thing here. This has got uh, I don't know why that's showing that. There we go. These may also be a little bit flaky. The buttons may not be too good. The uh, Tektronix unit, when I got it, it didn't work. Um, oh, that's my cat. Tektronix unit didn't work right. I think it had gotten moisture in it. It dried out. It seems to kind of work. I really only care about them for the XY mode quite honestly, but this stuff is kind of fun. But anyway, I just thought I'd, just thought I'd show this to, uh, to round things out. But this is them. There's a couple waveform vector monitors. But if you find one, um, look it up online. Make sure that it supports audio input if you want to use them as an XY monitor. They'll all have some setting on the front for audio. This one has a setting here for audio. This one says audio. And you need to make yourself a cable. So like I said, I will post uh, a picture of from the manual that shows how to make the cable up in the file section on on my uh, on my site there and yeah that's it for this one uh, questions comments put them below like and subscribe if you feel so inclined and I will see everyone in the next video all right take care bye